So what makes a Pokemon unique? Is it their type or is it how they perform in battle? So today guys, I'm gonna talk about my top 10 unique looking Pokemon from the Unova region. But then I'm not gonna base them by their battle prowess or strength, but then on their looks and where they come from or their origin. So let's go. So first we have is the trash heap Pokemon Garbodor. Like I honestly think of him as a very unique Pokemon because like who the hell thinks that? Maybe he was thinking, fuck, I need to think of a Pokemon because my deadline is almost there. And then suddenly you think about yourself. Oh shit, I'm trash. Yes, I need him to look like me. And here goes Garbodor. Like, look at this boy, even throwing himself as a special move. Like, man, this shit is so sad. Like, look at Pikachu dealing with all this trash, fucking himself up. Well then, that's Garbodor and that's why he's, my, he's in my top 10. So next is Next is we have Chandelier the Luring Pokemon. I chose this guy because I love its design, color scheme and overall aesthetic and the creepy vibes it gives. If they sell this lamp in the street, I'll probably buy this lamp. It has that Halloween goth emo vibe to it. I also like the fact that Chandelier's fires do not burn its, burn its victims physically, instead it burns their spirit after hypnotizing them. Then I couldn't get it off my mind that, these, that this guy is inspired by these people. Next is we have Cryogonal. Oh wait, wrong picture. Okay, Cryogonal for me is a very unique look because he is based from a snowflake, but not just a vulnerable snowflake, but a defensive snowflake, who's got it straight from probably, who knows, the Terminator or some Transformer stuff. I honestly think this should be the mega evolution for Starmie. So, yeah, that's what makes Cryogonal unique. So let's move on to number 7. <laughs> I really think someone was hungry and ran out of ideas for this Pokemon, but then it does have a unique look to it. I really like the fact that they thought of an ice cream as a potential Pokemon when there are hundreds of more kinds of animals that you could make into a Pokemon. And they actually made its final evolution, Vanillux look like a two scoop ice cream Pokemon, but then again, who doesn't like ice cream and who doesn't like Pokemon, so that's why I think it really looks unique. So at number 6 we have Gigalith. Gigalith is a blue quadruple Pokemon with various spiny crystal-like red features jutting out of its body. Its limbs have grey joints and are topped with red crystalline features, with the two claws on e each limb being similar features. It is a red eye inside each ear. Several of the crystalline features are present on its face, three below its eyes, and one in the middle resembling a crest, and other crystals to the side of its head. I honestly think that this he looks like a really 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 cool Bakugan. So here we have Heatmore. You guys might be wondering why I include Heatmore here. When in this list he seems to be the most simple looking Pokemon. So I have Heatmore here because Because he's Heatmore, okay. But let's be honest, Heatmore does not really have any unique features into it. I just put this guy here because, like, imagine an anteater burning, or more like Arthur turning into some Hellboy shit. I find that really cool, and it even has a muffler and some transformer looking things. Okay, here we go with Hydreigon, the Hydra Cerberus Dragon Hybrid. I really find Hydreigon as a cool mythological Pokemon, but I just couldn't stand the fact that he has heads for arms and its hind legs looks like it can't support his entire body. Plus it got that helicopter wings. That's why I really find this Pokemon as unique looking because of how stupid and cool it looks. So that's it. So next is we got Volcarona. I'm really obsessed by the look of this Pokemon. So this moth-like Pokemon with four small feet it appears to have compound eyes that are two shades of blue, and there is a red horn-like structure on each side of its face. 
It reminds me of that bug monster in that one movie. I actually forgot. I really love its wings since it, it has this flower summery vibrant color scheme and it literally looks like the rays of the sun. That's why I found it cool. <laughs> So Bisharp is a bipedal humanoid Pokemon. It is a round red and black head similar to a war helmet topped with a golden double-headed axe blade. I really find this design to be pretty badass despite having similarly looking Pokemon like him like Scyther and Scissor who also looks badass but I really find this look very menacing and killer like so that's why he's here. <laughs> So at number 1, we have Sigilyph. Sigilyph is a spherical Pokemon possessing two cyan eyes with a third on a black appendage on top of its head. Sigilyph has a pair of wings and a tail that are yellow, with blue and red stripes on each of the feathers, two black colored toed feet, and two small spikes on its base. Sigilyph has been inspired by the Nazca lines, specifically the avian figures, so like Sigilyph, the Nazca lines are found in the desert. So that's all for today guys, hope you enjoyed and see you again the next time with my next video, buyers.